wow. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm just going to jump right in because I look in absolute state. I'm going to be reviewing the Love Hair Intense Moisturising Hair Mask. So I was, I wasn't really... <laughs> I wasn't gifted this product but I was given a large percentage of the product um so half gifted half paid basically yeah um so yeah I'm going to be testing this product I've got a little discount code for you guys to save 15% off this product which I'll pop on screen and in the description box down below um so if you've come from my Instagram um you've probably seen the code sort of flying around my Instagram um the past week nearly um because I ordered this last week and it came this morning so I thought it was a good day to try it because my hair is absolutely disgusting we're on day two or three can't remember lockdown life <laughs> um of my hair needs and washed i normally wash it every two days so it's probably either two or three um so basically i thought it would be a really really good chance to try this so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go and wash my hair i'm going to just pop some shampoo on it my arm is breaking um i'm going to pop some shampoo on it i'm just going to sort of not use conditioner because i'm wanting to see if this works um or how moisturizing it is and then i will come back with my wet hair because that's what it says it says shampoo is normal and then evenly distribute love hair mask and leave on for 10 minutes or for better results leave overnight Rinse your hair with warm water and style as normal. Use twice weekly to maintain your healthy hair. You know I'm a hairdresser. I always recommend using a um, hair mask to keep your hair sort of good. Um, whether you dye your hair or colour your hair or you bleach it or it's totally virgin hair like mine, I always recommend to use a hair mask because it doesn't matter whether it's heat or it's colour or bleach or something. You're always damaging your hair. Um, so, or even the way you brush it. So, I think an uh, intense moisturising mask is always a good um, shout for absolutely everybody. So, it's such a good product. Um, I'll pop the um, discount code on screen. As I said, um, I'm going to go and wash my hair just with a little bit of shampoo. It's absolutely disgusting, guys. Like, it needs washed, but I thought it was a really, really good day to wash it um, or to try this out. So, yeah. Um... In the next sort of clip, I hope I look a little bit better, as in I'll still not have makeup on, but my hair will be a little bit better. So as I said, I'm going to go and wash it. I'll come back with damp hair. I'll pop it on um, and then I'll leave it for 10 minutes. I will go and rinse it off and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Um, I'm just going to quickly say it's a mango, butter, passion fruit and our oil it smells absolutely amazing um, and you get 200 mils in this so it's so good all of love hairs um sort of links as such will be in the description box down below along with my discount code and um, which will always be in my description box so you don't need to always come back to this video it will be in every other description box um from this video onwards so you guys don't miss out we're looking absolutely great <laughs> i'm trying to ramble on so i can just go and wash my hair um i don't think i've got much else to say i'll quickly open it and show you guys so please ignore like absolutely everything around it i've just took my rings off and my desk is a little bit dirty because it is stained so we'll pop my laptop on top of that so you can't really see um it is jam-packed full to the top do you know that way where you normally get like a hair mask or a cream or a product or something that comes in a pot and it is just like half full like but this is so thick so amazing and it smells absolutely incredible um so i would say i'd highly recommend it but you will see by the end of this video if i recommend it um but i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair then i'll come back and i will show you guys me applying it okay so we're looking a little bit fresher um i've just came out the shower i've just took the towel off and brushed my hair so my hair's like it's not soaking wet it's not it's a little bit like overly damp if you know what i mean like it's it's a good like it's wet um but it's not like so gamey like so can so i'm gonna apply it on this um it doesn't really matter obviously where your parting is i'm gonna put it into somewhat of a parting because i'm going to do it a really 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 easy way on um applying the hair mask so basically i'm gonna need a few clips so i've got a few here i've got three here but i probably not need them 
Um, a comb would also help for this, but that's if you're wanting to be really precise on, obviously, um, your sectioning. So I'm just going to clip this section up because we're not going to touch that right now. And then this section here, I'm just going to give it a good brush through and make sure there's no top, uh, no rocks, no tangles or anything and I'm just going to take a section I'm going to I'm not going to make them overly small or overly big like probably just about that can you see that probably not I'll be sitting editing this and I'll be like can't see nothing but um, you're just going to take a little section at the back and you're going to work your way up because that is what is easiest so i can't remember if i told you in the last clip what i actually used to wash my hair with um i used a little bit of head and shoulders but um i didn't use a conditioner so obviously because i want to see the full outcome of this um i have virgin hair the only heat I really put on it is a hair dryer. Sometimes I'll put um, a heating like curler on it or some straighteners or something. My ends are really dry because it's needing cut so I'm hoping that this does the trick. So I'm going to leave it about three inches from the root. Probably about that. I'm not sure if that's really three inches. And I'm going to start to just take a little bits at a time and pop it on and just work it down. The reason that I am avoiding the root area is purely for the fact that we don't want our roots to be over moistured because if our roots are over moistured, I'm gonna get this towel to wipe my hands. Um, basically when you come to wash it off, your roots are gonna be oily and you're, or they could be oily um, and you're not gonna feel great about that. But if you've got really dry hair, then you can't, could, you could get away with popping it on the roots. I just really don't like putting um, hair masks and stuff like that on the roots. Basically, the reason that I don't like to pop it near the roots is purely for the fact that you're adding extra moisture there that isn't needed because you get a lot of moisture from the natural oils in the hair. Um, I always make sure to coat the ends in like a good amount. Um, so yeah, that's basically why I don't pop it on there. Like the same with conditioner, I never put conditioner on my roots. Um, only on the ends or mid length and ends so that's what we're doing today um obviously i'm not taking super neat sections but if you wanted to you could um i'm just obviously taking enough to that i'm not here for ages but like small enough that it's i'm not relying on it to seep through like it just evenly distributes itself um it's okay if you go a little bit higher up than others obviously um and make sure you really get it on those ends because those are going to be the driest areas whether you've got natural hair or you've got like you put heat on your hair or anything like that is going to be the most damaged area because it's ends that's the bit that needs cut that's the oldest part of hair that's on your head that's the bit that needs most loved um so i just you'll be able to see better here um i just take it about there so obviously quite a bit away from my root um it's okay if it goes higher up as i said um but just i personally don't like to take it right up to my root so i think i'll show you me doing this bit um and then i will obviously do the other side and then I'll come back and show you and then I will leave it on for 10 minutes. I've got a mirror there. I'm just trying to make sure that like I'm evenly getting it because if I look in the viewfinder, um, I can't see it properly and I don't want to you guys to be watching this video and me realise I've um, missed half my head. So yeah. As I said, I do have a code for you guys to get 15% off this product, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll pop it on screen for you. Um, this product smells amazing. Let's hope it does the trick and the job and makes our hair absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's just if it, if it works wonders, then it'll be an absolute lovely little pamper um, thing. It saves, obviously, buying, like see those packets um, of hair mask it saves you buying those so I'm just going to sort of gather all my hair up and make sure I have got it evenly distributed all over my hair 
sometimes basically what you'll find is say if you've applied it to your whole head what you'll maybe find is the ends will be a little bit drier still and even though you've added that extra product you might notice that they are dry and it's just because the ends have souped up that product so definitely just go in again with a little bit more and just apply more to the ends um because it's it's not wasting it it's not like as if you've not put enough on it's just that the ends because they're dry out they soak up more product than the mid lengths and probably your roots um but i'm going to go away and do the other side then i'll come back and show you and then i'm going to go away for 10 minutes or roughly i'm going to go and heat my dinner um because it is half past five at night um or in the evening so i'll go and eat my dinner and then i'll come back and i'll show you guys and then i'll go for a shower and i'll come back and i'll dry my hair and style it and stuff like that so um i'm going to this side and i'll come back and talk to you okay so i have applied the hair mask to all of my hair my hands are actually feeling really moisturized so if it can moisturize my hands then i'm sure it will do an amazing job on my hair i'm gonna go away and have my dinner and leave it for about 10 minutes but it'll probably be more than 10 minutes and um, just because obviously i'm eating um but it says you can leave it overnight so it's not like it's one of these things where i need to have it on for a certain amount of time and if i have it on longer it then causes a problem so um obviously it says for best results leave it overnight and that's just so that the mask can soak right into the hair but i'm just leaving it on for the time being just to give it enough of a chance to show you guys um but also because i don't really want to pop, pop it on overnight either um but sometimes I will, that's not saying that I won't ever do that. Sometimes I will, I just personally don't want to do that right now. So I'm in absolute love with this so far. The fact that it's made my hands so moisturised um, is unbelievable. Like, we'll hope it works on the head. Um, but I'll come back in 10 minutes and I will talk to you guys. Um, and then I'll go for a shower. And then... I'll tell you guys my final thoughts after blow drying and styling my hair. Okay, so it's been about half an hour, I would say, 40 minutes. Um, I have left this on for, I had popped it back in a towel, just obviously I didn't want hair in my dinner, especially with it having like stuff on it. Um, you could pop it in a towel, you could pop it in like a little clip or something, or you could just leave it down or in a bubble or something. Um, it's totally up to you, it depends obviously how long you're going to leave it on for. Um, so I'm going to go and rinse it off, it's feeling so soft um and so silky but obviously this could just be the product sitting on the hair and not necessarily my hair so i'm going to go and rinse this off all you do is rinse it off with water no need to shampoo or anything again if you feel like you want to or you feel like you need to shampoo again then do it but usually with a hair mask you don't need to shampoo again so i wouldn't worry too much about that um because your hair is already obviously clean you've just added a little layer of moisture to it and um, so you're just rinsing that off and you don't need to pop any shampoo or anything on it and clean it because you're then just going to clean the moisture out and all the goodness that this hair mask is popped in your hair so as i said i'm going to go and rinse this hair mask off and then i'm going to come back and obviously feel my hair and stuff once it's rinsed off and then i'll blow dry it and come back to you guys with my final thoughts okay so i'm just out of the shower i've just washed it out um obviously rinsed it out with a little bit of water i say a little bit the shower was obviously running um it's quite hard to tell if a, a hair mask is out my only way that i can possibly suggest to you to be able to know is if you sort of come out the shower or take your head out of the water um and dry your hands and then pop your hands through your hair it's the only way i can suggest because obviously hair masks well i've obviously i don't even think they exist but hair masks are obviously moisturizing um i don't think there would be a face mask a hair mask that existed that isn't moisturizing so um yeah basically hair masks are obviously moisturizing and when you are feeling that wet hair um with wet hands it is difficult so a lot of the time you don't actually know if it's fully out until you have dried the hair which can cause a little bit of a problem because then if it's not out then you need to go back in and sometimes just rinsing it doesn't actually work you need to wash it again it will still keep it like moistured obviously not to the extreme that it would have because part of the like part of the product um that's like obviously sunk in your hair would be washed out um so yeah that's why they like they recommend you to do these sort of hair masks about two times a week um obviously to keep your hair 
soft and stuff because as you keep washing your hair it's obviously going to get like less moisture because you're going to be washing more and more of the product out so it's not a bad thing if you decided that you wanted to wash your hair with shampoo just so you could guarantee yourself that you had actually like got the full amount of product out your hair um but me and of um i just sort of rinsed it with a little bit of water or in the shower and i've just brushed it through there um it's so hard as i said to know um if it's fully out which is really really annoying um but obviously it just means it's done its job um i am in love so far like in love um i wish they came out with like a body moisturizer <laughs> If I'm being honest, I would love for them to come out with a, moisture, a body moisturiser. I know they love hair, but come on, body moisturiser, please. Because as the product was obviously running down my back and onto my skin, when I was like wiping my skin to make sure that all the product was off, it was just my hands are so soft, it's like my back so soft um, in the back of my legs because obviously that's where the water was running down. Um, and even when I brought like the hair to the front to do this, like obviously all of my chest and stuff was so soft, so it was really, really nice. Um, and it's quite nourishing for your full body um but yeah um, i'm rambling on in something else but that's just me saying that i absolutely love this so far um there's not a lot more i can say because i don't want to obviously be like yeah 100% recommend it when i've not tried it yet um but i can feel the moisture i'm touching it with my hands and i can like my hands are getting more moisturized which means i know that the hair is going to be really soft and really nice um my ends actually don't look as dry as they normally would i know obviously the hair's wet don't like come from in the comments saying that but sometimes when you step out the shower or the bath after washing your hair even when the hair is still wet um it can still look a little bit dry but this isn't looking as dry which is really really good but it'll be quite interesting to see once we've dried the hair if it is still dry or if it's um more moisture which is really really good and that's why i always say to you to pop on extra on the ends of your hair um literally just the ends like for me it would be from there down um so it's literally just the end compared to what i've got because obviously they're the drier areas and they suck in more product so when you come to finish applying the product all over your hair um the ends need more so yeah it would be really really nice if that has obviously made these a little bit more moisturizing and less dry and if you find that once you've took the mask off dried your hair and stuff and the ends are still quite dry compared to the rest of your hair you know for the next time you do the mask to pop on a little bit extra on the ends because your ends maybe need a little bit more love and care than normal and that's just normal for everybody um i mean some people have dry hair like from midlines and ends and from roots and everything like that but if you don't then you probably will have them at the ends and that's just because they either need cut like mine <laughs> um, but we are in lockdown so we kind of need to rely on a hair mask to sort of cover that up right now um but they either need cut or you have plies like they're sort of starting to break because and dry out because of the heat being put on it um and that's from like a hair dryer a pair of straighteners a curling wand anything with heat on it um obviously can damage your ends and obviously this is the oldest part of the hair so that tells you something so i'm just going to go and stop rambling on now i'm going to go and dry my hair and then i'm going to come back to you guys with sort of my final um thoughts and hopefully nice and soft and silky hair okay so i have just um blow dried my hair um i'm absolutely in love with this like it is so silky soft i didn't even need to brush it even though i am um i'm absolutely in love like i'm speechless like, i know i obviously a hair mask is so nice but like the reflection on my hair is absolutely amazing um i managed to get the product out obviously quite well Um, it's amazing from top to bottom actually i think i've maybe left a little bit of the products in here so if we just ignore this area um we are i think i've sort of missed a little bit of the product but 
on a whole it's absolutely amazing like just in forgetting about that little area because that was like about me that wasn't about the product that was just me obviously hair masks are quite um hard to get out of hair um because as i said when you've got the products on your hand and you've got the products on your hair trying to feel when it's out is so difficult it's the same as getting conditioner out and stuff and obviously um when you put a hair mask on it is more moisturizing than conditioner so it is harder to get out so despite me not being able to get out in this little area i am so in love with this product my hair smells so nice it smells exactly how this smells like washing it out doesn't change the scent didn't let the scent go away i mean the shampoo i used was apple which normally when i blow dry my hair i can still smell the apple can't this has overpowered it which is absolutely amazing and uh, as i said it's got mango butter passion fruit and mar no mar oil oh, yeah. i don't know where i was getting the sea from absolutely amazing i would 100 percent recommend you try this i just want to quickly say because while i was blow drying my hair i was thinking about this um i don't want you guys to think that um i'm only saying i like this product because i've got a discount code for you guys i would never um ever turn around and say yeah i like this product here's a discount code when i actually hate it when it maybe didn't work for me um i would 100 percent always tell you guys the honest truth i just wanted to obviously let you know that i do have a discount code for this and um let you know at the start of the video in case you've maybe only looking for a discount code or you're coming back to the video um i wanted it to be at the start so that um if you're coming back to the video or you were looking for a discount code on this product and weren't actually interested in my video um, <laughs> that it would be at the start and you'd be able to just sort of get the codes and then that would be you um because obviously i don't want um to cause you hassle even though the discount code will be in the description box down below and in the description box of every video so there's no need to keep coming back to this video but if you do want to keep coming back to this video then it is always at the start for you guys and I just want to quickly clear that up um because i don't want obviously people saying that i only like it because i've got a code for you guys um i just love this so much my hair is so soft so silky um it is just amazing like even underneath obviously it is just the same all the way through i've literally just tangled my hair my goodness and the ends are super moisturized they're no longer dry they are amazing they don't even look dry on camera they don't look dry in person they are so moisturized so i'd 100 percent recommend it even if you only want this product for lockdown so before we can get to hairdressers then i'd 100 percent recommend getting this product and trying it as i said the code will be on screen the code will be in the description box down below and also over in my instagram so you better go and follow me over there in case you're not wanting to come back to my youtube channel for the code um uh, but might have it on my story and I will also have it in a highlights which is named discount code so if you flick through there you'll be able to find love hair and my discount code which is just caitlin15 um, so if you don't want to come back here and you've got me on instagram then my instagram will be on screen just in case you want to go and follow me and follow my life and everything like that but um, everything will be over there as well as here just if you want to come back and get the code so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to smash like thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload also let me know any other video ideas that you want to see let me know in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget that i still have my giveaway going on all details for that will be in the description box down below i'm giving away a eyeshadow palette a chain dawson times jeffree star mini controversy palette and the one will be announced when i hit 500 subscribers right now we only have about 15 to go which is absolutely amazing and it's so surreal that there's nearly 500 of you. Um, it's just crazy. Like, I never thought I would ever be here halfway to a thousand and, like, or nearly halfway to a thousand. It's so crazy, but after we hit 500, obviously our next goal will be a thousand. So let everybody know um, that we are a loving, caring family. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!